Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So in today's video I am taking a look at Deepin 20.7 which is the latest update from Deepin. As far as the official sources say uh, version 20.7 will be the latest greatest update for version 20 because now version 23 is in works so it will be a brand new redesigned Deepin uh, like a distribution on its own perhaps or will be based on some frameworks which we already have from Debian for example or from Arch uh, Rail. So let's uh, have a look at quick release notes. Here we have uh, basically the new kernel. It, it is uh, HWE 5.18 version. This version is basically uh, one of the more recent versions available in the Arch realm, so for the newer hardware but less stable version we have this one and the LTS kernel as usual it remains 5.15 I'll uh, put in the description a link of the command how to install the HWE version it's like a command from the terminal and we can see I have already Install that version so we can do a new fetch and see it's 5.18 version. Uh, here basically we have another update, let's say, for internal testing channel. We have uh, an entry for applying the internal testing has been added in the control center. After submitting your application to the web page, the repository resources for Internal testing are automatically added. The whole processing only takes two clicks. So basically, it's more convenient and in an easy way to get to internal testing channel and branch. Okay, next we have keyboard layout and input method. The functions and the UI interface for keyboard layers and input methods have been fully optimized so as to meet the usage habits for both Chinese users and overseas users. Basically, um, the keyboard layout is a bit changed and uh, redesigned. We have improved mail features. We have the calendar features added into the mail. I'm not using currently on this machine the mail, but I'm using on my laptop, so it is there indeed. Grant search, now we have a possibility to search with uh, other search engines from the internet. For example, if I'm going to do a search, it will have a web option and if I click there, it is going to show me the Google search results, which is in this case the default search engine. Of course, you can set uh, the other search engine if you prefer, for example, Baidu, Yahoo or other, even Bing from Microsoft. And other small new features and improvements we have already spoken about kernel the control center has added the internal testing entry okay optimize the usage of logic of input methods and keyboard layouts added more formats for short date added the effect when the app was right click in the launcher and few optimizations for calendar camera album screen capture email browser grant search and others as bug fixes, we have fixed UI issues on some devices. Music is now fixed on some devices when song directory was added. All songs in other directories at the same level were also added. In the terminal issues, when a terminal window was at the position across two screens in dual screen mode, you could press Ctrl plus Shift plus question mark to call out the shortcut windows, their position were different each time. File manager, more fixes, movie, browser, email, and a lot of other fixes. For stability and uh, greater overall uh, experience. Okay, so for now let's have a look at uh, the release cycle for version 23. It is uh, now available in the preview. So you can see in the deep in forums about that. And the next is going to be version 23 alpha, and then beta. Uh, according to this uh, schedule and the new version will be by the end of the year. 
and the release is scheduled by H1 2023. So if the new versions basically release uh, in alpha or beta, I'm going also to make a video about them and uh, see what is uh, going to be there and uh, how it will be redesigned from uh, scratch. So the other things, I haven't noticed any uh, lag or any problems. It's everything smooth and nice. Uh, everything is working fine in this update. One thing I noticed uh, here, we have uh, basically a language uh, indicator, which uh, if I remember right, it wasn't here in the previous versions. The control center as usual we have, and the applications also as usual we have the default coming one and one which I installed. So basically uh, this was, um, that was the video. It's a short one and a quick one about uh, this new release. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.